So, can you give me a little background of your of a being single mother? So, okay, tell me about your boyfriend. <laughs> the important is, especially when you're in a relationship, you have to be honest in everything so that everything is fine. Hi guys! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am going to interview my friend Giselle. So before anything else, Hello. Okay, so before anything else, I would like to say thank you, thank you so much to all my subscribers, to all my supporters. Because without you guys, I cannot reach this level. And yeah, for today's video, I am going to interview my friend Giselle. Um, Hi! Hello, Hello everyone! <laughs> okay, Giselle, please introduce yourself. So before doing that, I would like to say thank you so much, Miss CZ Kelly, for having me in your YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you so much. So... Hello everyone, I'm Giselle here from um, Valencia, Negros Oriental, and um, I am 23 years old, and I am a single mother with one kid, like a boy, two years old this time, and I have a boyfriend, which is a foreigner, and um, he's in the USA this time, and I'm in the Philippines, so we are in an LDR relationship or long distance relationship this time. So yeah. <laughs> wow. Do you have a siblings? Oh yes. Um I am the middle. We are three. I have um older brother. I have a youngest sister. So I'm the middle. Okay. So how old is your uh eldest sibling? Um he is 24 years old and then I am 23 and then my sister is uh 21. Ah, so your so your brother is all, uh, only one year. One one year is the gap of my brother. Gap, Two years yeah, with yeah, his sister. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, how old is your baby boy? Your two years son. old. Two years old. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, Bundo is a cute. You know, he's very yeah, cute. Yeah, two years old baby. boy. Yeah. So, can you give me a little background of your of a being single mother? Um. My mother is a single mother ever since, not because my father leave him, but because uh, my father passed away when uh, he was 28 years old, a very young age, my father passed away. So my mother was forced to work um, as a mom, you know, like um, working at the household. And then three of us, my mother raised us uh, through hard work. And um, even until right now, my mother is very hardworking. Uh, mother and I'm very proud to say that to the world that I have the best mom ever in my life <laughs> yeah and you are single mother for her how long I am a single mother too it's because yeah. my partner leave yeah. me not because he died but he leave me uh, when I am pregnant and when he found out that I was pregnant he ignored me he blocked me in all communication so my mother said, why would you force yourself to this, to someone that wouldn't even show love to you? And, you know, so I just let it go. And I mean, my mama, my mama said that I even raised you three, how much more that you have just one. So we will raise that together as a family. So, okay. yes, that's my single mom. Yeah, uh, no, no need to force when the guy doesn't care about you, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a Filipino, so, by the way. Yeah, it, uh, okay. So, it, I think you 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 made a right choice, you know, like oh, yeah. uh, you prefer to be a single mother. Losing that decision. Then, yeah. So okay, tell me about your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I meet this guy. I meet my boyfriend through social media, Facebook, and then I was even the one who do the first move. Actually, <laughs> I was like, um, I was. Yeah, I was the one. I was sent a friend request with, with him. I just feel so attractive. I don't know. But I feel maybe that he will accept me, you know, as a friend. So I did send a, um, uh, a friend request to him. And luckily, he accepted me. And then after, we started chatting like that. Okay. But it stopped. it stopped. Our communication was stopped. But after three months, we're getting back again. And at and that time, I was not with anybody else. And at the same time, he was not with anybody else. So... I he was asking me a little bit background of my single mother 
story and I've been so honest to him. I did uh, I did tell everything, the story from the very beginning of being a single mother and he was really happy because I was honest. The important is especially when you're in a relationship, you have to be honest in everything so that everything is fine. Everything is doing well. So after we've been LDR for one year and nine months, LDR because of the pandemic also. He can't come to the Philippines because of that. But I will never forget on November 24, 2022, we met each other for the first time. Yeah, and it was like my birthday time. gift already because my birthday is November 22. And he came here in November 23, so at uh, 24. So um, I met him and it was really nice to to be with him for a long time. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for you, Giselle. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I wish I, I can find my true love also, but yeah, okay. I'm not in a hurry. We'll find you. <laughs> it will come at some point. So, you know, it, it just just let's just wait for a perfect time, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't crush anything. But, yeah, exactly. How does it work? Uh LDR relationship, you know, the long distance relationship. How does it work? One thing I could advise to those people who have like an LDR relationship or long distance relationship is you have to be uh, trustworthy. You have to be loyal at the same time. You have to be patient. You have to have the love that each other is really need to have. True to yourself, you have committed because that's me. That's what I did. And that's what he also did to me. That's why we're wa working on better. You have to communicate at the same time. Like communication is very important once you are like LDR situation. So I think that's the best way on handling a LDR is like those, like what I said, communication, love, trust, patient is very virtual. Like it's very important. You have patience because um, I know it's really hard because that's my uh, situation. It's really hard to be apart with your loved ones. But if that's what your uh, choice is, then if that is the, um, once you chose to be LDR, it will give you maybe a good future because he needs to work there for savings. So you have to be patient. And that's what I did is being patient every day. So, yeah, you know what? Um, you know, we, we have different time here. Like, I don't know. Yes. Where, yes. Uh, where is this? Uh, time, like when it's morning here, it's evening there. Ah, so yeah, you have to be, I don't I know. I have to adjust. People, you have to manage your time. Oh my God. Yes. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> the, 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 um, that's how it works, you know, for, for uh, LDR. Oh, yes, so, okay. yes. So what's your first impression when you met him in, uh, you know, like in person, when you met him? Okay. Um, honestly, I didn't expect because it's kind of a little different from the, the physical appearance, kind of a little different from, you know, phone and then personal. So when I meet him at the port, you know, I've seen her already standing in the inside of the port. So I was like, oh my God, that's him. And then I, I don't know, I feel killing. I don't know how what's the English. I just feel like, oh my God, this is it already. This is true because I see him. This is not a joke anymore. It's like, it's reality. So, <laughs> so when he came, he came out of the gate, like on the door of the, I was like, oh my God. I stared at him for about three minutes. Like he was totally different from the, it's, he's way more better in personal. Like, oh, I didn't expect. Yeah. But I, I can't explain it. I mean, it's very mixed emotion. It's, Kinda of very well. I mean, better, oh. much better than personal. The way also he treated me personally, like, um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's been so good to be with him. It was so great that I'd spent time with him. And he is even sleeping at our house. Like, he's not picky in the place. The food, what we have is what he eats. And that touches my heart. That's very uh, weird, you know, for, for, a, for a foreigner, like, I don't know, because it's it's your first meet each it's other. My first, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Yes. So maybe you are you were afraid that maybe ah oh, maybe he's not gonna eat this. Maybe he's picky on this kind of food. Maybe yeah, uh, I was afraid because I saw, yeah I saw it in your vlogs about the balut that he, that he's eating balut and I was mm -hmm. surprised that he ate it. I was like I was wow. Shocked. 
he said, amazing. He said you know, this guy is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. In the first, in the very beginning, that maybe it's like very yeah. gross, but when he tried it, he likes it even more. Like he even eat too. Like he likes it. He likes it and he eat too. Wow. wow, that's 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 amazing. You know, because he's not picky in and uh, in food. He's not picky yes. in everything. Yeah, even in your house, he sleep in your house, right? Yes, for the how kitchen. many days? He sleep. For wow. three nights, four nights. Really? Wow. Yes. He take a bath, not using a shower. Just like water, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to experience what's um what what what's the traditional like what's out you know the, our culture. He's very curious about yeah, our culture. Yeah. What we adapt it? How, yeah. He wants to survive adapt. Doing, doing this kind of thing that you know we don't really need a hot shower we can only you know sh uh, take a bath even if it's uh, even the water is very cold <laughs> that's amazing Giselle I'm so happy for you that you you found him you know thank you yeah what is the best photo you have ever taken um the best photo that I have been taken is that I've been taking is the first picture of my son. The first picture of okay. his um, just born. Yeah. Okay. My son's be first picture when he was like one one day old. Oh yeah. yeah it's, really, it's always forever in my heart, like the pictures that I have, you know, though it was really like a bad story of mine but it was really like a blessing a big big blessing that i have a son which i have right now and very like loving cute adorable son how do you pick up yourself up from making a mistake um well we are just a human we all made mistakes every day i made mistakes by the way so um when i encountered you know when i feel like i made a mistake already I have to accept it and I have to learn from it and will not do it again because that you will never be learned if you will never encounter mistakes. So um, I think by learning through it and will not do it again. I mean, there's a lot of ways we will make mistakes, but it's better to not go back to the things that you already have done, which is a mistake. Okay. What activity brings you peace of mind? Like, what activity oh. na makapa? Money more. Dancing. <laughs> dancing. Dancing in TikTok. Yes, exactly. Dancing. Me, I, I prefer sing uh, yeah, both singing and dancing or unwind, like to to explore. Okay, yeah. What what's the craziest dream you've ever had? Dream? Yeah, the craziest, the craziest dream that you've ever had. Someone like the ghost is um, running into me. <laughs> like I even woke up after it because I, thanks God, it's just a dream. <laughs> a ghost is running with me. Thanks God, it's oh. just a dream because I feel scared. <laughs> I, I totally feel scared. I even like pee on my shirts after that. <laughs> what do you like to do in your free time? Um, sometimes I do like home workout or home workout. I love doing some home workout too. Yes. Yeah, me too. Like, you know, after, yeah, because it feels good when you do the, the workout and yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. a stress reliever, right? Yeah. Yeah. So... So, Actually, I just have like a few time for good. like a rest day or a rest time because I have my son and then always grumpy and always mama all the time. Maybe because I was really the one who really took care of him. And if I was not around, he was really looking at me. Where's mama? Where's mama? So when the time he was sleeping, that's the time I can do the things that I wanted to do, like workout or doing TikTok or dancing or like that. Yes. When he was sleeping. I can, I can relate to girl. Hindi ka nag -isa. I can relate you. You know, I'm a, I have also Soren. <laughs> that's why 
That's why I prefer to do workout at home. Uh, yeah, I've never been in a gym, but I really wanted to go to the gym someday, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. When Soren is already grow, you know. What do you regret doing nothing? Um, I regret um continuing my education. That's one thing that, yes, I feel regret not continuing it. It's because there's a reason also. My mother can't afford college for me because she's just alone and we are three. So uh, I decided to stop. At grade 12, I graduated there and then I find job to sustain my family, like food, so what I can give to my mother. So it's really hard when we are nothing also. Just if we, my mama can work, that's the time we can eat. So my mama can't afford. I know there's like a public college here in Dumaguete, but I can still, mama can still afford the daily expenses every day. So, which I understand. And I, I, I regret. You know, going to school, but there's a purpose why I didn't go. Yeah, it happened to me also. That's why I stopped in college because of the um, financial problem, you know, because we're not yeah. rich. Because at the time, at the time, my mother and my papa broke up, you know, they split. So only my mom is taking care of us. So I have to, and, and at that time, I was singing in the band a full band and every time that i have a talent free i just give it to my mom so that you know it, it will help for for our daily needs yeah by the way um what brought you in youtube because you have a youtube channel so oh, there, yeah. she has a youtube channel so you should I have a YouTube channel. So the reason why I created this YouTube channel is because first is I know I can have a salary in this. Like in the in the future, we don't know. We'll be like a famous blogger one day. We don't know. We just, we can't, you know, so we can't predict the future of someone. Exactly. So um, yeah, and of course, I want to save money for the education of my son, like, to have a future, good future. Education is the best. And since I don't have that much, but I want to give it to, to my son, his uh, future education. So maybe I could save money. And also um, the second one is to have good memories to be watched when I will grow old and um, good memories. And also I want to share, especially my videos, it talks about mostly province life, like how I survive, how we survive living in a province area, what we do in a province area. That's my video mostly talks about. And I want to share that to everybody and um, inspirational videos and fun videos, adventure. That's my videos uh, mostly on my YouTube. So I just want to have good memories to look back when I was like, I can't do the things when I'm grow old already. So I just want I just want to look it back. So and also because um I really had a big dream of my family, especially for my mother, like um having a good house, like a better house, which we I did started right now. Well, thank you so much for YouTube. That, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because I'm starting building our um comfortable house and because Yay. YouTube helps me a lot on this one. So uh that's why I'm very thankful and yeah, that's the reason why um I wanna make a YouTube channel. So hopefully guys you will subscribe province yeah. if you just to support my channel. Hey, yeah, guys, please support her YouTube channel. Um, you know. It's been a while that we don't meet each other, so we yeah. already collab yeah. for, but not really. Only only me and Leia will just doing collab. But Giselle, I, I want to interview you with with our lady boy, yeah, friend Andy. Andy, yes. yeah. So was I? I will just put down the, the link below, guys, if you haven't seen that video. So yeah, that's yeah. for today's video. And thank you, Giselle, for um visiting my YouTube channel that you're allowing me to interview you. And I'm really, really happy that I see you here in my YouTube thank channel. You. Thank you so much for having me in your YouTube channel, CZ. Thank you so much. Hopefully we could meet again soon. 
in God's perfect yeah. timing, you can visit again here, or I can visit in Sikihor one day, and we're gonna do a collab. Yeah, we don't know. I will yeah, so that we can meet again. You know. <laughs> okay, yeah. guys. So please don't forget to like, share, and please give me a nice comment. And see you. See you in minutes. Vlog. Bye bye. Thank you so much.